Well, it happens here a series of visits to communities across Massachusetts. Well, today we're heading to the Blackstone Valley where Christmas decorations meet fine art. It happens here in Sutton, where purgatory chasms, outcroppings, and caves draw thousands of hikers every year. In 1717, the big snow completely covered early settlers' cabins. Indians came to the rescue and they spotted smoke coming from the chimney. And the Monchog Mill, that's where the Fruit of the Loom brand was born. And it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas in the mill now at Valencourt Folk Art. We create the store to be magical. Once somebody comes, they come back. They come back with their children, and now the children come back with their grandchildren. They're starting a tradition. It started 35 years ago when trained artist Judy Valencourt started making Christmas pieces in the family's Sutton home. My wife is a creative genius. They caught on at folk art festivals, and that demand meant Judy needed more help, so her family stepped up. It was a gutsy move. I mean, leaving high tech at the, at the peak of it uh, to come off here and stop painting Santa Clauses was a risk, but it's been a risk that's been just borne by by satisfaction. The handcrafted pieces start in antique chocolate molds, some as old as 1850. Every piece is carefully unmolded, smoothed, and then sent to the painters who work off Judy's original design. You could line up six pieces painted by the same painter and you could find little things different in each of them. And then it's off for the final touches. Well, we haven't shown you to the bling department yet. We're going to go to the bling department. We're going to go to bling. Wow. Steady hands, Nancy. <laughs> <laughs> I dropped. <laughs> like, who doesn't want a little bling at Christmas, yes, right? <laughs> <laughs> and that Christmas bling is on display throughout the Valencourt store all year long. I brought you a little something. Oh, I love bling. I lo wow. This is a real work of art. Yeah, it really is. It's not just a Christmas decoration. It's really a, a work of art. And some of those artists have been there for like 30 plus years since the very beginning of this. So it's pretty cool. Uh, I'll let you open that. Gary also has a new book out. It's called It's Hard to Tell When a Tradition Begins, A Valancourt Christmas. We've got all the information posted for you on cbsboston.com. It kind of talks about family tradition, Christmas traditions that we have here, what they have over in Europe. It's really, really cool. This is the nicest ornament I think I've ever seen with the detail. Look at that. It's unbelievable. It's so pretty. Just don't drop it, please. It costs a lot of money. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> We want to tell a story from every community, so if you have an idea, let us know on Facebook. Send us a tweet at Kate Merrill or at Chris WBZ. They're really awesome, and Judy is an, she is an unbelievable artist. So go out to the store and check it out too. They're open, so I love it's it. Pretty neat. I love it. All right.